Hello my friends, CJ here. We are back in classic WoW today, continuing our hardcore challenge on our Paladin. Uh, we made it to Goldshire last time, and uh, now, well, we need to start questing. And uh, yeah, well, let's just uh, let's take out this guy <laughs> immediately. Uh, we need to do that, right? Um, Looks like we need to get some cobalt candles, some gold dust, and scout through the Fargo mine. Or mine, excuse me. Um, this is going to be interesting. I hate mines. They are uh, a very bad thing when you're in Classic WoW, right? Because there's so much that could go wrong. Um, but uh, as it is, we'll see... Um, but we need them to do quests, so if we're, you know, hopefully if we're smart about it, then we can, uh, we'll be able to do what we need to do. But uh, we can heal, so that is good. Actually, I need to give myself this buff. Yeah, Blessing of Might, that is going to help with our, um, with our attack power. I vowed that I would never return to a mine, but it is what it is. Alright, well we did get some gold dust and we got a large candle, so that is a good thing. Um, it's very interesting, there was a graphic that, uh, that the WoW uh, dev team um, released. And uh, kind of shows different stats on, um, on uh, you know, like hardcore, the hardcore uh, challenge right now as it sits um, after the uh, the realms went hardcore, uh, like like last week. And uh, I guess I think if I remember right, like one of the most uh, most people die to cobalt miners. <laughs> Because human, I guess, is a very popular, um, very popular race when it comes to doing the hardcore challenge. Um, I don't know if it's just because of the racials, or maybe it's their starting zone, um, or yeah, I'm not entirely sure. But um, I thought it was really interesting. Um, it was humans, night elves, and then. Um, Undead. Those were the top three races for uh, for the hardcore challenge, which is really interesting. I never never thought about any of the. I'm never. I never thought about like the night elves or the undead. Um, but yeah, I thought that was really interesting. If I can find it, I'm gonna post it on our community board so you can all see it. Gotta be careful here, we don't want to pull more than we have to. Well, our last, uh, the last episode I posted uh, was of our uh, Blood Elf Paladin in Northrend, Arrhenius. Um, I gotta tell you, it was fun to kind of get back on him and play through, um, play through, uh, you know, uh, Northrend like that. Um, I love it so much. It was so good to, to kind of get back on him and, you know, enjoying that content again. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it um, because I really kind of want to see him a little bit more, you know. I'm in combat. Oh, of course I am. But yeah, Lich King expansion, uh, you know, it's it's got to be my favorite expansion. I really enjoy it a lot. So, like I said, it was cool to kind of revisit it. Do we even have bag space? Yeah, we do. We've got some. Hopefully we get like a... Yep, yeah, we did get a potion. So that is good. That will help. Uh, let's see. Let's go through this back way. What do we need? We need... Okay, we need five more candles and uh, five more dusts. Well, I hope you all are having a good day today. 
I appreciate you taking time out of your busy day to spend a little bit of it with me. If this is your first time checking out my content, I just want to say welcome and uh, thank you for deciding to uh, click on today's video. If you are enjoying uh, what you see, consider liking it or liking this video. Your like actually uh, helps the channel out. It tells the YouTube algorithm that this content is worth uh, promoting. And you know, as a content creator, I love it when my videos can be put in front of as many people as possible. And uh, if you're feeling extra generous, consider subscribing. Uh, we would love to add you uh, to our uh, growing subscribers. We are uh, just over a little, we're just over like 530 subscribers right now, which is really cool. I never imagined that we would be, um, you know, in the 500s. Pretty wild when I think about it. But yeah, we would love to have you. So uh, consider subscribing. And to uh, all my current subscribers, I just want to say thank you. Uh, you guys are amazing. And uh, your continued support just means the world to me. So thank you very, very much. All right, uh, let's see. We need to keep scouting through here. Let's just kind of drag him back this way. So we need, uh, let's see, we need two more candles. And we need four more dusts. All right, cool. So we're getting... Getting these taken care of here. And then we need to scout through the Fargo Deep Mine, so I'm not sure how far we have to go, but uh, yeah, gotta heal ourselves here shortly. Alright, let's go ahead and eat and drink really quick. I think we'll be alright, I don't think there'll be any respawns just yet. Oh, yeah, see? We're just around the corner here. It looks like we'll be able to scout through the, the mine. It's these little boogers right here, man. These cobalt tunnels. They make everybody's life a living hell, right? And it, it looked like the average... Um, the average... Uh, level of death was around level 10. So that was it was a really interesting infographic. So I'm gonna I'm gonna post it up on our community board so you all can see it. Um, I like I don't I, I kind of like things like that. I really enjoy looking at like data. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was really interesting. We need one more candle, three more dusts. Just gotta be careful. Sweet. We are doing this. Just, I hate being kind of in this area right here. Come on, start it. Spawns. They just uh, they make me so nervous. All right, I, I'm actually gonna head out because I'm, I'm getting kind of nervous sitting in this mine, and I, I don't like it. <laughs> my my fight or flight instinct is kicking in, so I just do not want to be in this mine right now. I don't mind fighting out in the open. Um, so that's what we're going to do to finish off these quests. Drag him this way a little bit. Alright, 10 out of 10. Perfect. Let us, uh, let's see. There should be another one around here somewhere. All 
All right, what do we need? We need one more candle. Okay, one more candle. Think we can do this with two? Yeah, I think so. I think we'll be all right. Worst case scenario, we just have to use a heal on us, which, you know, is what we'll do. Thank goodness we were like, you know, male armor, right? If we were cloth, there'd be no way we could do that. And of course there's a respawn there. Man, man, we're getting some minor potions. We are getting health potions like crazy, which is awesome. And the chest is back too, so that's kind of cool. Open that up. Oh, tight. Level seven, heck yeah. Okay, oh dang. Let's get rid of this shovel and grab a silver bar. That's cool. All right, let us do this. Hopefully we'll get the candle from this dude. just need your stupid candle. That's all we need. Give it up. <laughs> no. Uh, scroll of protection, though. Actually, again, let's, uh, let's get rid of some cloth. Grab this scroll of protection. That, that's pretty good, actually. That's decent. Let's go this way, then. Sure, we're good. The situational awareness thing is key. Awesome, we got it. All right, cool. Let's just take this guy out here really quick. Sweet. All right, that's fine. Whatever. All right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna get back to uh, what's it called? Uh, Goldshire in, and then uh, we'll turn these quests in. See you in a few. All right, let's turn this quest in. What can I do for you? Uh, gold dust exchange. See you later. Psst. You have the gold dust for me? For me? Safe travels. Thanks for the dust, Markor. Here's your cash, and uh, here's a token from associates of mine. You might find it useful. Useful. Have a good one. All right, a fishy peril. Markor, there's a new threat in Elwyn Forest. Murlocs are swimming up the streams of eastern Elwyn, scaring away fish and attacking gentlefolk. I warned Marshal Duggan, uh, but he's more worried about the gnolls and the bandits. He's not convinced that the murlocs are a danger. Please, Markor, speak with Duggan and persuade him to send more troops to the east. All right, Remy, two times. Wants you to speak with Marshal Duggan and Goldshire. See you around. God, I hate Murlocs. I really do. I do not like them at all. All right, let us actually sell some stuff really quick before uh, How before are we you? do any more. Uh, let's get rid of the leather. Get rid of that cloak. The gun. We don't need any of these cloth items. Silver bar we can get rid of. Um, let's see. Loose chain cloak. Yeah, we'll keep that. Um, alright. Just for now. Okay. Safe travels. Now let's turn this in and see. What can I do for you? Alright, uh Fargo Deep Mine. Be careful. 
This is bad news. What's next? Dragons? We'll have to increase our patrols near that mine. Thanks for your efforts, Markor. And uh, hold a moment. I might have another task for you. Go with honor, friend. Thanks to you, uh, we know the Fargo Deep mine is infested with kobolds. Now we need to scout to investigate the more distant Jasper Lode mine. Explore Jasper Lode and confirm any kobold presence. To reach the mine, travel east along the road until you reach the Tower of Azora. From the tower, head north and you'll find the mine in the foothills. Alright. For the Alliance. Now let's do the fishy pearl. Light bless you. Ah, yes, I spoke with Remy. I respect him as a merchant, though all reports of Murlocs to the east have been sketchy at best. Your concerns are noted, but unless I receive a military report of a Murloc threat, we can't afford to send more troops east. For the Alliance. Alright, further concerns. If you are concerned that the rumors of Murlocs are true, then do this. Travel to the Eastern Elwyn Bridge and speak with Guard Thomas. He has been stationed at the bridge for past week and will know the state of the area. Bring me his report. Alright, so we need to go talk to Guard Thomas. Light bless you. That is something we can do. Let's go uh, chat in here. Yeah, right here. You need something? Did you gather those candles yet? See you around. Uh, you were busy hunting kobolds, were you? Thanks for the candles, Marco. And uh, here's your reward. Have a good one. All right, my brother Morgan is waiting in Stormwind for my shipments of candles. I don't have enough time to make the trip myself, but if you'd like to take him the shipment, he'll pay you well. Uh, I've packed up the candles, and you can find Morgan in our shop, Pestle's Apothecary, in the Stormwind Trade District. See you. Cool. All right, let's go do that one. Let's just get the Stormwind quest out of the way. It's always fun to visit Stormwind. Yeah, the, uh, you know, questing in Elwyn is good. I really like it. Um, the Murloc quests, I, I just hate Murlocs. I mean, they're a pain in the butt. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, the Guard Thomas stuff is okay. Um, but that, that whole area, you just gotta be careful. Because one of the quests, if I remember right, kind of takes you to like a murloc camp. And it is just, it's just, you know, swarming with murlocs. And it's easy to, and they're so tightly packed together, right? So, it's just, it's just an annoying quest. But, eh, it is what it is. This, this brings back memories, though. Um, <laughs> running up to Stormwind, uh, it just... The first time I I did this, I was just blown away. Like, like I said, I had never played an MMO before, um, and so coming up to the gates of Stormwind, and then like, just taking it all in was just it's it was so epic, right? And then of course, once you enter the city, you know you get. The, yeah, you get the Alliance theme song, you know, the Stormwind theme song that's playing right now. You know, that just kind of floods your ears. And it's it's so grandiose. And uh, just everything about it is so cool. Like, Stormwind is my favorite city, hands down. Um, Iron Forge is cool. Undercity's cool. You know, Silver Moon. I like Silver Moon. I love the Blood Elf architecture, but mm, man, there is something about Stormwind City. Absolutely love it. Okay, here it is, Pestle's Apothecary. So let's do this. Let's turn this in. And there he is. Good day to you. Oh, a shipment for my brother. Splendid. Fortune truly shines on me today. Have a good one. Here is your payment, and uh, while you're here, take a look around. I'm sure we have a potion or a trinket you'd find useful. Uh, let's use the lion strength. Yeah, that works. See you later. Cool. What do we got? Anything here? Arcane goods nope. vendor. We don't need anything from from him by any means. Um, but yeah. Go with honor, friend. There is though. Let's see. 
do have some coin that we can use to buy another bag. I, I think that's what we're gonna do. Goods. So let's see. A uh, little eight slot bag. Oh shoot, we don't have enough, do we? Hmm. Okay. Be careful. It is what it is. No biggie. Actually, while we're here. Uh, let's see, flimsy chain boots and loose chain boots, so yeah, we're going to put those on. And then we're going to put our little cloak on. And then let's sell these guys, just to free up some bag space. There we go, that's good. Light bless you. And what's this guy here with this quest? How are you? Wine shop. Safe travels. Uh, it's only 130 experience. See you around. We'll not, we're not going to do that. Alright, um, let's see. What do we got? Uh, level 10 quests. Let's open up our bags. Or not our bags, our quests here and see. So this is... Yeah, level 10. That's what we need to be doing. There are the Young Lovers ones, so that's what we are going to do, I think. Um, I think we're going to do that next time. Uh, this episode is going to be a little bit shorter, um, but uh, you know that's okay. Um, I just wanted to, I just wanted to get in here and make a quick little episode, you know. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Um, you know, we went into the mine, we made it. <laughs> like I said, I was getting a little anxious, you know, standing around in there. So uh, you know, we just had to kind of get out of there. But uh, yeah, we hit level seven. I think we're good. Well, my friends, that's going to do it for today. As always, thank you for taking time out of your busy day to spend it with me. If you enjoyed today's episode and you'd like more content from yours truly, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I'll see you in Azeroth.